In this video, I am going to talk about 6 lessons that I learned from one of my most favorite books on how to reduce procrastination which is Eat That Frog. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, my name is Anubhav. I am an applied scientist at Amazon and today I am going to talk about 6 lessons that resonated with me the most from the book Eat That Frog by Brian Tracy. One of the most important aspects of my life is how I manage my time and complete the tasks on my plate. And this book has helped me immensely in understanding how to trick the human mind to solve most critical tasks of your day by developing useful habits for your daily life. Author Brian Tracy gave this analogy of tasks as being frogs based on what Mark Twain once said. He said that if the first thing in the morning that you do is to eat a live frog, then you can be sure that probably this is the worst thing that can happen to you throughout the day. Brian calls your biggest and the most important tasks as the ones which you are likely to procrastinate as frogs. Which brings to the first lesson, eat the ugliest frog first. The first rule of frog eating is that if you have two frogs, you should eat the ugliest frog first. Which means that you should start with the biggest, hardest and the most important task first and resist the temptation to start with the easier tasks. This makes it easy for you to eat even the smaller frogs because you know you have eaten the biggest and the ugliest frog first. That is, you are able to solve the small tasks throughout the day quite easily as well. Lesson 2. If you have to eat a frog, it does not pay you to sit and look at the frog for a very long time. We all have this habit of thinking in our heads about the task to be done. We plan about it a lot or sometimes even keep scrolling on the Instagram feed for hours thinking that we will start working in the next 5 minutes and later feeling guilty about the time wasted. The key of achieving high level of performance is to develop the habit of tackling the most hardest task first thing in the morning. That is, you must develop the habit of eating the frog before anything else and without taking too much time. This also makes the other tasks throughout the day look small and achievable because you gain the momentum of working right from the beginning of the day. Lesson 3. Plan your work ahead of time Stephen Covey once said, Before you begin scrambling up the ladder of success, make sure it is leaning against the right building. What this lesson talks about is to create a master list of all your tasks. You then filter out the tasks that you want to do this month and create a monthly list out of it. Select the tasks that you want to do this week for the weekly list and similarly you filter out the tasks that you want to do today for the daily list. Repeat this exercise whenever a new task comes up and at the end of each cycle. By planning your task for the next day on the previous workday itself, you will know what frogs are to be eaten for the next day right from the morning and can get started on it immediately. Lesson 4. The 80-20 Rule Focus only on the 20% of the tasks The Pareto Principle states that you tend to get 80% of results from only 20% of your tasks. That is a big reason why you want to define your goals up front. Because when you don't, you end up spending all your time on the small 80% tasks which are of low value and that fails to get you closer to meeting your goals. Resist the temptation of clearing up the small tasks that you have and focus only on the top 20% of the most crucial and important tasks of your day. Lesson 5. Break down a large frog into smaller pieces. Break the bigger task into smaller subtasks and focus on one subtask at a time. When you plan your goals, you should also break down those goals into multiple smaller tasks. That's an important part of reaching your goal because the larger a goal is, the more likely you are to procrastinate on it. Smaller subtasks look doable and focuses your mind on only doing a single task at a time. Lesson 6. Don't let technology distract you Technology is designed to make you more productive, but if you use it incorrectly, it has the opposite effect. If it feels like you're spending your day reading or replying through emails, replying to instant messages or phone notifications instead of accomplishing your most important task, it is time to rethink about technology. You need to remove these temptations by silencing your applications and closing your email application while working on the most crucial tasks of your day. You can allocate time to check and reply on the emails throughout the day as well. These are the 6 lessons that I have learned through this book Eat That Frog which has helped me immensely in completing my day-to-day -day tasks. I hope these techniques will also help you to get your work done faster and avoid procrastination. If you like the content then don't forget to like and share this video and also please subscribe to the channel. 
This is Anubhav Srimal. Bye-bye.